this is Julia and welcome to Combos with Julia. So again today we got a lineup of great questions that were all asked by you guys through the comments in these videos and through Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And if you have any other questions you would like to ask me, just you know leave them in the comments of this video or post them on social media and I will try to answer them in the future. And with that, let's jump right into the questions. So the first question is, as someone who's blind, what am I scared of? So this is a good question because obviously, and this could go for any blind person, I'm not scared of the same things that sighted people are scared of. Like I'm not scared of heights, I'm not scared of spiders or snakes. Because like, heights might be scary for someone who can see because like, I don't know, you're so high up. Or like, um, spiders might be scary because they, you know, they look freaky as I've been told. But that doesn't apply to me. Actually, when I was younger and I went to a museum, I actually held a snake and I held a tarantula and it wasn't weird to me at all. I didn't even, it didn't even cross my mind that that would be something that would be scary for other people. Some of the things that I am scared of are just, you know, some of the unknown things. Like for example, when I was younger, I was always afraid of dogs. That was a big fear that I had because I thought that, you know, they were going to come up to me and bite me and growl at me and stuff. I never knew because you hear this loud bark and you don't know what it means when you can't actually see them. Like when I was growing up, my grandparents had a little dog and I was so scared of her. I thought she was gonna like, cause she would come up to me and jump on me and bark. And I thought she was gonna like start biting me even though she was a really nice dog. I, I was never prepared for what she was gonna do. I thought she was gonna hurt me. But ever since I got my dog Link, everything has changed. Like Link will run around and bark and he'll come up to me and bark and it doesn't scare me. Whereas a year ago, I would have been so scared if a dog was coming up to me and barking. I also had some other like, you know, weird fears when I was younger, like I had a fear first of all of cars starting because I was afraid of the sound and I never knew when a car would start. I had to always ask my parents to tell me, like count down to start the van because I was so afraid. And also I was afraid that if I was sitting in the car and no one else was in the car, I thought that it would just, it could just drive away on its own. And I would go out into the middle of nowhere and just be driving randomly. <laughs> Also, when I was younger, I was a bit afraid of falling downstairs, which sort of leads into what I'm scared of now. Probably the main thing I'm scared of now, though, is just the unknown. Like, when I'm in a room that I don't know, and I don't know if there's stairs or if there's stuff on the floor, I'm just really scared that I'm gonna bump into something or that I'm gonna fall down the stairs or that I'm gonna step on something, things like that. Because there have been several times where I've like, hit my head on something or stepped on something or fallen downstairs. Like, for example, a time when I was really young, my brother and cousins wanted me to make me think that I was walking into the washroom when really I was walking to the steps and I ended up falling down the stairs. They thought it was pretty funny. But I did not. <laughs> Don't put that in. I'll put that in. No! Another thing that I was kind of scared of when I was younger was escalators. Because with escalators, there's a specific time you have to step on and off and I would never know. So my parents would be like, Julia, step on now. And I'd always worried that I was gonna like fall down the steps because it was like steps that were moving. And then I always, I don't know, at the end, I didn't know when to step off. And I always worried that I was gonna end up being caught in the escalator. And you know, I thought it was possible because like I heard stories about it. And you know, as a blind person, that made me scared even more. Another thing I'm a bit scared of is like people like, you know, coming up to me and scaring me because since I'm blind, I'm a lot more vulnerable to Yeah! <laughs> Like that! So the next question is, do I know how to roller skate, ice skate, or skateboard? Right off the bat, no, not really. Okay, so I've never tried skateboarding or rollerblading because, you know, they're kind of too dangerous for someone like me who can't see my surroundings. But ice skating is something that I've done before, you know, with my friends or my parents alongside me. So I mean, like, I can ice skate, but I have to be with someone. Because obviously, if I'm on my own, either I'm going to end up bumping into someone or I'm going to bump into a wall or something like that. So basically, all those options aren't really things that I can do successfully on my own. So since I can't do like everything on my own, my family has kind of come up with some solutions. For example, biking. I do bike on a tandem bike, which is basically a bike where two people ride. So like my dad will ride and he will control the bike and I ride behind him. So that's basically, you know, how I go for bike rides with my family and stuff. Cause you know, it is a bit nice because like I can still have the biking experience, but I don't have to worry about bumping into stuff because my dad is in control. So the last question is, do I know how to play Xbox or PlayStation? So as you can probably imagine, no. It's a video game, right? I can't see the screen, so it's kind of hard for me to be able to succeed in that way. Well, yeah, it does kind of get me wondering at times, you know, how bad would I really do? All right, guys, hey, welcome to Gaming with Julia, and today we're gonna be playing some uh, Fortnite. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. Uh, ben, why is there like two things on this remote? Like, there's two little things on the sides. Yeah, yeah, those, th th those are the handles. 
Okay, but, but most it. remotes have just like one thing. Yeah, I have. Yeah, yeah, this is a other. gaming controller. It's not oh. like a TV remote. It's like a game. Oh, okay. It's a controller. It's okay, not a remote. okay. I don't know how to play, but I'm gonna try my best, and I'm just gonna, you know, go with it. Let me give you a quick little overview. So here's your remote. Okay. You got four buttons here. Okay. Okay, so I've been told to start to press triangle, so I'm gonna do that. You're loading in, Julia. I'm loading in. I don't know what that means, but okay. You wanna do some dances? Do 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 do. Sure. I'm in the game. I'm in the game. Uh, okay. Uh, la la la. Okay, Julia. Oh, yeah. she got zero seconds. Okay, you're on the battle bus, Julia. What does that mean? You're ready to start. Angle it down. Just pull it down. Pull it down. Pull it down. There you go. There you go. Julia, you're a pro. Hand. You're like a. You're like. You're pro diving right there with your hands. This is actually fun. It's pretty fun, eh? Yeah. Okay, now with the other one. Look. Oh. Oh, okay. You're dead. How am I doing? You're doing fantastic. I think you're best in the lobby. Hmm, yeah. You know what that means? No. I think so. <laughs> I don't know anything about Fortnite. So those were all the questions for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. And if you have any questions you would like to ask me, just leave them in the comments below or on any of my social medias and I will try to answer them in an upcoming combo. See ya.